Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Randy Orton very rarely posts on social media, but when he does, it's often noteworthy. Mainly because it rivals Daniel Bryan in the art of not giving an F word. A debate over the formulaic nature of independent wrestling started over the weekend when wrestling legend and current head OVW trainer Rip Rogers shared a message from wrestler Daniel D. Man Parker on Twitter. Every indie match now. Handshake. Drawn out move exchange. This is awesome chant. Strike exchange. Dive. No cell in the strong style. Dive. More strikes. No cells. Dive. Flippy floppy sequence. Dive. Hit everyone with each other's finisher. Then Humpty Dumpty we all fall down. Fight forever chant. Rinse and repeat until every move is useless and means nothing. Dive. Take unsafe shot that looks like shit and hurts like hell. Then roll up finish. Hand shake and hug after the match. Everyone's hands raised, all these guys chant. Go home and type on social media thanking your opponents and company for the match and telling others they should book these guys. Dive. I too enjoyed Ring of Honor's War of the World show at the Oh no wait, he's being sarcastic. This would have most likely stayed a fringe discussion on Twitter. But then the message was reposted by the WWE champion with the caption Dive. And that's when everyone started doing metaphorical dives on each other on Twitter, with Orton's fellow WWE wrestler TJP firing back the irony of proud magicians exposing bad magicians to non-magicians by explaining why the magic is fake. Independent Wrestling's Ricochet actually agreed with the description, while Ring of Honor's Will Ospreay quickly brought out a dive t-shirt. Former WWE star and current ROH wrestler Bubba Ray Dudley thought he'd get in on the act, posting his version of the dive, a tongue-in-cheek belly flop from the top rope. Then, seemingly having faded away since his original post, Randy Orton tweeted Bubba from out of nowhere. Lol, there is a difference between a young hungry talent diving and an old out of shape vet falling. To quote Buzz Lightyear, at least it was falling with style. But not done there, Autumn rather unnecessarily followed up the tweet with an animated gif of an overweight man falling into an inflatable pool. Then came one of the most insincere apologies ever committed to a phone screenshot. Sorry to the indie marks, indie guys and old timers who do dives that took offence. Just having a good time over a few drinks in Denmark, closing the Smackdown Live tour while beating Raw in making over $5 million in the last 11 shows. Now I know to some that doesn't equate to a standing room only crowd of 150 people paying $8 at an armory somewhere, but in the big boy world, that's called putting asses in seats. So enjoy your flips, dives, and 20 super kicks per match to each their own. I will go dive back into my 13th title run and get ready to flip when my bank state comes this month. Headlock. One man whose matches are in no way formulaic is Brock Lesnar. Suplex. Who since winning the Universal title at WrestleMania 33, Suplex hasn't appeared on WWE television. F5. His first title defense has already been announced for the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view, they're still going with that name, on July the 9th. And the Beast Incarnate is now being added to episodes of Raw leading up to the event. Lesnar is now now being advertised for the 12th and 26th of June shows, the Go Home episode on July the 3rd, and the post pay-per-view Raw on the 10th. Brock was originally scheduled to face Braun Strowman for the title at Great Balls of Fire, but the monster among men has been pulled from all upcoming dates to undergo minor surgery on his elbow. We should start to see the championship feud's new direction on tonight's Raw, where Seth Rollins or Finn Balor are the favourites to take his place. WWE have reportedly asked John Cena to appear on SmackDown to help the show's ratings decline, and watch the latest Wrestle Ramble, where Luke Owen and I fantasy book a Broken Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt feud. Click the videos to the left to find out more. Support Wrestle Talk on Patreon and subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was Wrestling Dive.